Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll be looking at the new Bucket Blaster from Kegland. Because this is a review, here is my full disclosure declaration. Feel free to read this in full by pausing the video, but in brief I am totally independent and unsponsored. In my day job, part of my role is product evaluation, so I do get to test a lot of different homebrew related products. Ok, so with that out of the way, let's now get back to the Bucket Blaster. As you can see from the outside, the Bucket Blaster looks like a simple bucket with a handle. This is a self-contained product that is based around a 15 litre bucket and it packs down neatly as you can see when it is not in use. Here is a quick look at everything that is contained inside prior to assembly. At the heart of this package you have a 2000 litre per hour submersible pump, which I guess is why this is called the Blaster. Also a fully stainless steel frame which makes it easy to set a keg on top. Also included is a bag of fittings and instructions on how to put it together and use it. It took me a few short minutes to put this together as shown here. The tubing supplied needs to be cut by the user and I would suggest getting hold of a tubing cutter to do this job neatly. Here is a closer look at the internals put together here so that you can see what's involved without the bucket. It is all good quality kit and this comes in at a price that challenges its competition, namely Mark's Keg Washer Mark II. Check your own market for prices and release dates. The main things that I like about this compared to Mark's Keg Washer are the lower price and that in operation this is not as messy at all due to the large 15 litre reservoir. Also to pack this down is as simple as this. It fits very nicely inside regular 30 litre fermenters also. The Bucket Blaster offers cleaning for your kegs, fermenters and other brewing equipment. It can also be used with regular cleaning chemicals as well as sanitizers, so in effect you can clean, rinse and sanitize with this one system. One nice money saving area is that you will not need to use as much chemicals compared to before, as you simply need to fill the bucket to the top of the pump. Let's now look at this in action, starting with using it with this corny keg. There isn't really much to see here, so let's move on to something a bit more visible. Here is a recent IPA that I brewed that had dry hops and caused quite a mess inside the fermenter. To start the pump on this, you simply plug it in and off it goes. As you can see, it is very fast at cleaning. This is a very good thing because not only does it save time, but also keep in mind that the contact time for cleaning agents with plastic needs to be kept short as to not to compromise them. You essentially have less than 20 minutes contact time to play with. This product cleans in a fraction of this time. Because you have the ball lock post included in this, you can also clean the floating dip tube system of the Firmzilla at the same time. Another nice feature is that this also supports other products like brewing systems. Naturally this is not a full solution for brewing system cleaning because you also need to involve your recirculation system if you have a pump. But if something goes wrong like this, then I'm sure you'll be grateful for any help that this product can give you. So there you have it. There is not really much more to say about this one, but if you do have any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comments section of this video. If you are feeling further social then consider joining this YouTube channel's Facebook group. We have a rapidly expanding user base that is full of brewers of all experience levels. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate then please like this video on YouTube and if you've not done so already then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!